Hi guys, how's it going? Welcome back to another Skyrim mod update video where we look at some of the latest mods out for the game that you should check out yourselves. I didn't have a mod video out yesterday, so I have two instead today, so check the other one out after you watch this one. I'm still working on switching to Xbox One X, but this is still an Xbox One video, and if you want to know exactly what mods I'm using, well guys, my load order is posted and pinned to the top of my Twitter page. The address is on screen and the link is in the description for you guys. Anyway, let's look at some mods for today. Our first mod is a very simple one called More Wildlife. The mod increases the amount of wildlife spawn and how far they spread out as well. Wolves, bunnies, deers, elk, rabbits, bears and saber cats are now all more common and so you will see a lot more of them in the wilds once they spawn and they wander farther from the original spawn as well. So a cool mod, a simple mod, it goes with another similar mod we looked at already which was called increased amount of insects. So the two go very nice together and it definitely does increase the amount of wildlife you see in the game. Next up we have a mod that will increase the texture quality of all your existing textures and any other new texture that you will download in the future for all objects that were edited. This mostly contains vanilla meshes with the changed UV maps and this will enhance texture detail of modified objects including over 900 meshes in this mod by letting the mesh face use a larger area of the loaded texture and allowing the mesh itself to use more samples of the same texture to effectively multiply the resolution. Before the mod to get a higher cloudy image you need to upgrade your texture resolution on some objects even having 4k textures would not make them look as good as you would expect. Expect. But with this mod now, it uses UV map to make the mesh face use a larger area, which increases the resolution, and it definitely does make things look much better in the game. Next up, we have a simple game tweak called Projectile Speed Tweak. The mod increases the speed of all arrows and bolts by 42.2% and makes them fly further before dropping towards the ground. These settings have been tested and fine-tuned over years to achieve a pretty perfect compromise between realism and good gameplay. Also included a fix that allows all types of projectile to hit targets that are very far away without glitching through them. So a small change, but a nice improvement to the overall gameplay of archery in Skyrim. Today's fourth mod is actually two mods called Outlandish Outfits. We have the Outlandish Cultish Robes and the Outlandish Chitin Armor. The mods are simple cloth recolor mods. The Chitin Armor has been altered to look less vibrant. Before you had bright reds, but now they've almost been turned to a black colour. The cultist robes are the same, before it was light brown and they had a kind of Dwemer gold yellow colour on the arms, but now it's light dark leather like the thief armour and the Dwemer yellow looks more like dragon bone, so it's a definite improvement. I think these armours will definitely be better used for sneaking characters now. Before they were both pretty horrible colours to be honest, but now I'd happily wear either of them in game. Well today's final mod is called Awesome Artifacts and the mod overhauls a lot of the in-game items to improve them and Awesome Artifacts aims to be lightweight and high quality to have the effects that are unique and fun. And all that to stay true to the original theme and be immersive and finally to keep things balanced enough to make things interesting. This mod is huge and it would take a very long time to cover every alteration so I'm going to go over just one example called Eastmer Dragon of the North and with this mod you can upgrade Conoric to Eastmer at the Skyforge once you've become the theme of every every hold and attained every smithing perk. It requires all the original Dragon Priest masks, excluding the wooden mask, and 50,000 gold to forge. Has all the enchantments from said Dragon Priest masks. Has the hidden effects from Dragon Priest aspect that makes shouts more powerful. Comes in both cloth, light, and heavy versions. And the light version gets matching set bonuses from all Elven and Nightingale armor and heavy from Daedric. It will use any new texture you install from Conric as well. And finally, Conric's effects now makes you explode, damaging enemies and healing allies, and leaving you with a flame cloak for 20 seconds. However its chance to activate at low health has been decreased so that it won't make you near immortal but it's a chance to summon a dragon priest has been increased. So that is just one example of changes to single items in games but the mod alters in a similar way not quite as powerful that's definitely the most powerful one all these other ones are much less overpowered but there are definitely similar changes to all these different things. Chillrend, Mirak Sword, Nightingale Armor and Weapons and Arrows, Snow Elf Armor so the Ancient Falmer, Savior Hide, Skull of Corruption, the Rufal Axe, Keening, Glass Bow of the Stag Prince, Diadem of the Polymath, Vampire Royal Armor, Mace of Molag Bal, Volendrung, Ebony Mail, Ebony Blade, Dawnbreaker, Auriel's Bow and Shield, Mirak's Armor Set including the Mask, Blade of Woe, Staff of Magnus, Wuthrad, Shield of East Grimoire, the Pale Blade, Red Eagle's Bane, Ghost Blade, Dragon's Bane, Harkon Sword, Tanchi, or the Akaviri Sword, and Hark's Bane. It also makes single tweaks to 23 other unique pieces of gear. The ones I mentioned fully all have at least 5 changes to them, and the other 23 all have single changes to them. But you can see there guys, it's 
definitely a huge mod and it tries to improve the unique artifacts of the game for the better and it's definitely one worth trying out for yourself. Well that is about it for this video, if you found the video useful leave a like, it's very much appreciated and if you want to see more daily news guides and updates on more similar games including mods, check out my channel and subscribe. You can also turn on notifications as well to see vids as soon as they're released. But guys, thanks for watching, stay awesome as always and I'll see you all tomorrow for more Skyrim mods.